Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Back in the bathroom, I hope this is the last episode because we're getting close. We hung up all of this wall stuff, paneling, in the last episode. That was horribly difficult for me. <laughs> and now we're gonna do all the trim work. Now I know this looks like really bad. You gotta see the vision till the end. This is gonna be um, trim halfway through. I gotta trim all the edges. I gotta paint, fill in the holes. Uh, the whole nine yards. So today's episode is going to be all of that detail work, which will be fun. And I think it'll be really satisfying seeing the end result of this bathroom. Oh, and we also got to change the faucet and the piping underneath. It's all corroded copper, of course. Uh, that'll be fun. So if we're taking a look here, this is where the trim's got to cover up. I wanted it to line up with the trim of this window. I don't think it's going to happen because I think this is a little taller. So I got to cover that up all the way to here. And then if we look right here, that's gonna to have to get covered. That's a little hole that I messed up at. So it's gonna to have to at least go up to here and over. So I think I'm gonna do my first piece right here and that'll set the basis everywhere else because this is definitely tall and needs to be covered. So handy dandy tape measure. Now this has to be pretty accurate, 21 and 3 fourths. Just rained a bunch again. It's rained a lot this week. Oops, I left out some paneling outside last night. That got soaking wet. <sighs> Come here often. I hope I have enough. You know what? I honestly don't even remember what my measurement was. I'll be back. I am back and it is 21 and 3 fourths. Okay. First task is to see if this fits. That's pretty tight. So now I gotta use handy dandy marking tool once again. We'll try this. This cut has to be one of the best cuts I've done in my life. <laughs> Luckily, it needs to be just made right in this little crease. Like perfectly right in that crease. So that's a good little marking point. Busting out the chisel for this next part. Let's go try it out. That might be the best fitting thing I have ever done. <laughs> Close up of my work is sometimes scary, but look at that. That looks so good. This one needs to get measured and it's going to be 46 and 3 fourths. Safety glasses. Will this one fit? I made it pretty tight. Uh, it does fit. With a hair. It honestly fits the back wall a little bit better. So I'm gonna take this back out, cut another one that's just a blade length longer. I'll be right back. I'm back with the slightly longer piece. Oh yes, that is such a perfect fit. Let's move on to this wall. Well, I'm thinking there's going to be a trim right here. Well, now I'm coming into another problem, which I knew I was going to come into. You can see there's a gap right here. I should have just made the wall butt up to the trim and never took the trim off. That was a mistake. So now I got to figure out a way to deal with this. Well, we're gonna be moving on from this. I have an idea. I have to go to Lowe's. We'll save that for later. Let's get all the other pieces done that I can. So it's, the trim's gonna go up right up to the switch. So I only need to measure from here to the switch. 15, 7 eighths minus one. And we're back. Let's see. There we go. You couldn't ask for a better fit. We have two more. And I don't think I have enough. Poof, I'm back from Lowe's. Guys, I got a haircut. The question is, do I keep the beard? I know, is this even called a beard? Do I keep this hair or shave it? I don't know yet. I had to change my shirt, of course, because of the hair. Anyway, we got this board cut now. Will it fit? It will. And we gotta do the exact same thing here. Cut a little piece off of this. Here's all my other trim pieces we'll be messing with later. I'm just gonna put it right where it goes. It is humid, it just rained a bunch. All right, let's hope I can do this. There we go. Let's go test it out. 
Oh, I messed up. So this one is different on this side. It sticks out way farther. One more piece to cut. You're, if you're wondering why I'm not nailing any of these up yet, it's because I still got to cut the 45s on them so they'll join together correctly. 29, 5 eighths plus one. We're back. Does it fit? Boom, boom. Yep, that's pretty good, if you ask me. Also, I just remembered this inspiration photo right here. This is AI. <laughs> I didn't even know. Look at the toilet. It's underneath the sink. <laughs> And then there's a trim piece missing at the top right and it's just a little bit funky of a photo, but. Okay, moving on to the trim on the door right here. I showed you my problem earlier. I think I have a solution. I'm gonna get my circular saw. I'm gonna cut the exact depth of the board right here. I could take the boards off and cut them, but man, that's gonna be a lot of work. So I'm gonna cut the exact depth of the board, cut it all around to where this trim piece will fit there and it'll just be a simple little job and that'll fix the little gap problem right here. So I know this is going to be difficult to show. This all the way up. Let's make sure this is level. I'm going to make one little mark. I got my line there. I'm going to do that for the rest. So let's make our marks. Ah! <laughs> Alright, to describe what I just did, I drew a line at the edge of the trim all the way around. And now I'm gonna set the depth like this so it just cuts all the way up this and it only cuts this thing off. You know, that's the idea. That's what we're going for here. Let's see if we can do it. It's pretty loud. Headphones. Now I'm all decked out. Wow, it's just shooting right at my face. That was so bad. Oh, it seems like it just gets worse and worse as time goes on. Let's see, I don't even know how to get this out. You can see it's all cut. I don't know if you can see up there, over here. And these fit just like that, and now it looks like it's supposed, what it's supposed to look like. Oh, it's been hours in the making for this moment. Oh, my pencil broke. The cool thing about my house is it came with a built-in pencil sharpener. There we go. It fits. Whoa! Moving on to the top border. Got my stool. I got all the pieces cut already, so it's just time to put them up. Boom. Top is done. We're back, it's day two. As you can see, there's been a lot of progress made. I did the trim work off camera because you know it's just repetitive stuff. So you can see, I got it all in the ceiling. I did these little braces on the side. Savannah also painted last night a good portion of this bottom green section. I told her to do it for the toilet because I want to put the toilet bowl back up and she just continued to do it. So lots of progress has been made. So this was the original trim, but since the room got a little bit smaller from adding these panels, I had to trim up all of these. I just wanted to make sure they work. So we're taking these ones out because we're gonna be painting them. It is raining ever so slightly today. So we're going to be painting inside the shop, which is slightly unfortunate because it is extremely humid. This is gonna take forever to dry. Oh man, a good, nice screwdriver. American made. It says right here, made in the USA. This thing is probably older than I am. Nice American products. Curious what paint color we're going with. It is called Messenger Bag. And we're going with natural linen for the top, which is the same as our cabinets. Oh, the joys of painting. So for these pieces, I'm only concerned with painting these little bottoms because that's what's gonna be up against the grain. So that would be really tough to paint. I'm not gonna worry about painting the rest. I'll paint that whenever it's up on the wall. Now the fun part, caulking. I'm gonna caulk all the little nail holes I've done so far. This will probably take a while. <laughs> all right, as we wait for all of that to dry, we'll put the toilet back together. I'm gonna wipe it off. Very dusty, as I should say, and might as well clean this area that is unreachable, the nether regions of the toilet. Let's set it in place. <clears throat> Tighten her up. Ooh, I used to have to clean toilets at the coffee shop I worked at. Coffee messes you up, and those toilets were messed up. 
Oh no. I just cracked the toilet. <laughs> oh no. I tightened it too much. I wasn't even... Oh no. I have to buy a new toilet. I didn't even think about cracking the toilet. Oh, it's only barely cracked. It's almost savable. Elongated toilet is the only way to go. Anybody that supports the round toilet, you have some explaining to do. Proho uses elongated. New lid, we cannot crack it. Ah! Oh, this is the last time I'll be touching this bottom hole ever. Oh no, there's water. How do I get the water out? Can you lift yours up at all? There we go. Yep, got it? Yeah. All right. Ah! Why is it doing that? Well, we got the toilet help and all the water that was in it. There was no way to flush it because I didn't have the top on. I didn't know how to get the water out. I guess I could have plungered it down the drain, but oh well. Ta-da, new toilet. That only knocked out two hours of my time. <laughs> Trim is all painted. Time to put that up. to the last step, painting. I'm gonna finish this green on the bottom. Nah, bye bye white. Bye bye white, we don't want you. We're moving right along. Sneak peek of the paint, it's almost done. Just a little bit left. Uh, I'll show you the end result when it's all painted, but here's the mirror, we'll hang it up. Oh man, we try to go with like a vintage looking mirror. Now the mirror's messed up. It's a little uneven, but the welding on it for this little bracket is wrong. <laughs> My thing is level that it's hanging on, but can't really tell. Uh, I think it pairs well with this. I love it. It's the next day. I'm not sure if I've ever shown you this room. This is like our mud room. Kind of awkward because we like to walk through the garage to get inside, but we want to start using this room that has a door to the outside as our walkway for the mud room. So here's a before shot of this. It was a different paint color. Savannah painted all of this herself, did a great job. We went with the blue because we have this wood with the brick and the terracotta floor. I think it all looks really good. So these windows are just beautiful in here. I'm excited to get this room kind of filled in with some furniture. Uh, there's the blinds I took down. I gotta paint those for the bathroom. That door is gonna get changed or painted, probably probably painted because it's a nice window door. But it's cool to have a brick room. Definitely an add-on from when this house was built. I like it. I just wanted to show you this room and the little bit of progress we did. We're not doing much, just the paint and adding some cool furniture in here. For the next video, I gotta get a toilet paper holder there, towel holder there. I'm replacing this faucet right there. I gotta put these on. We got to paint this window. We, I took the blinds off, if you remember what those looked like. I took all that off. We got to still paint the window. We still have to paint, like, trim right here, paint that green. I'm going to paint this green right in here. So, still a lot to do left uh, for this, but look at that mirror. It is so cool. So, I'll be finishing that on the next video, and I'll do a big grand tour of this with the cost breakdown and the whole nine yards. So, stay tuned for that. Keep me and my family in your prayers, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.